we continue the segment of decision making and we still continue to address this very, very important subject. Everybody who is under the sound of this microphone, I want to let you know that you are, what you are today, is a total sum of decisions you have made along the way. Decisions you make along the way inform who you are and what you will become. So decisions, you can't take decisions or decision making lightly. I want to give very quickly uh, from, uh, from Insight Executives a publication of Insight Assessment. The, 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 the statement is that decision makers must create clarity out of ambiguity. Any person who wants to be ambiguous is because of certain things they are hiding. So a leader must demonstrate clarity. And uh, decision makers must evaluate risk and opportunities. We have said that before. But uh, there are facing the things that are very critical in decision making, whether it's in business, whether it's in the church world, whether it's in the political world, number one, all leaders must identify critical factors which will affect the outcome of the decision making they make. I want to say one more time. Identify critical factors which will affect the outcome of the decision uh, decisions they make. Being a strongly skilled decision maker requires having excellent analytical and interpretive skills. And some of these things you can learn, uh, you can sign in. There is so many uh, people who have addressed them. Now, number two, uh, for you to become effective is anticipate outcomes and see logical consequences. Uh, this allows uh, one to see the application and the implications of factors uh, that shape and constrain decision making. Government reg regulations, policies, basic assumptions, core v principles and protocols should be considered. And this is a very, very important agenda. Then number three, or number two rather, evaluate options and accurately establish priorities. It is so important for, for us in the process of decision making to understand how pr the factors of priorities are important. Because you may have so many options, then you need to prioritize uh, after assessing each of the things that we want to do, what in the best of the interest of the people you lead and the interest of the welfare of your organization would be what you must do as a matter of priority. Uh, then number four, for a leader and decision, navigate risk and uncertainties. Now, the most accomplished uh, manager, uh, the most uh, effective executive can only be justified by the abilities of sometimes navigating risks and uncertainties. Because again, even when we look at the situation like of what we are talking about in the issues of COVID-19, sometimes there are so many uncertainties. Uh, most of us uh, were very, very excited in the beginning of the year because we felt like uh, this COVID is coming to an end. In fact, we used to ask, why is the CS Health is not, why is the government declaring the, the curve is flat? But all at once, as if it was a shocking thing, we learned that we, we, we are now dealing with a third wave. These are uncertainties. So it means that even in life, there can be uncertainties. Right now, I want to make a passionate appeal for those who are in leadership to understand how important it is to make decisions. Decisions 
that do not consider self-interest, but decisions that consider the interest of the, of the, of the, of the, of the people that we lead. And then uh, last but not least, we need to learn what is to reason well in the context requiring quantitative analysis. There is quantitative analysis, but there also can be qualitative analysis. Readers must be able to analyze, interpret, and have, uh, evaluate vital information as presented uh, by those people who collect the data from them. And we need to be very, very, very responsible. And that is why sobriety becomes a very, very key thing in good leadership. So that you, 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 you are level-headed in the manner in which you handle challenges and you are able to know where you are going to draw the information you need. Because most of the decisions, why we sometimes make foolish decisions, is because we do not have the necessary data, the necessary information that can inform. And to be honest with the realities that are there. Because, you know, uh, lead, leading, we are not leading, we, we are leading people, we are leading people within a context of a very, very complex world uh, with the challenges that are global in nature. But God has put you there because he trusted that you can be able to give leadership that is responsible. Don't disappoint God because all of us have an accountability before God. I continue to appeal for those people po positioned in places of influence, positions of authority. Don't abuse the opportunity and the privilege you have because God holds you accountable. And you will not get away with anything you do that brings punishment to the people that are looking, for, uh, are looking to you for guidance. Lord, I pray for this very, very critical uh, and important conversation about decision making. We pray for our church leaders. We pray for our political leaders. We pray for, our for, for even the business community leaders. The decisions they make will not have a negative impact on the welfare of the nation, but they'll make decisions that, oh Lord, will help us, especially right now, on how we, uh, we navigate through a very, very uh, fluid situation of the rising infections of COVID-19. God, our hope is in you. What has defiled uh, medical science cannot defile you. So we are trusting you that proper decisions will be made Oh God, for the welfare of our nation, in Jesus' name.